Hello YouTube and welcome to our 68th Unity 3D tutorial and last tutorial was short and this one's not going to be an exactly really long one but it's going to be something what does what is needed now um, if we look play our game we can see that now they are fully aligned we have a skills box here and um, it's currently only showing we have um, fireball zero which is just our fireball but what about if we actually play the game and get more than one so if we go to our character and select our player stats you can see that firstly I want to rename this from skills to actually I don't know tell me what you think in the comments should I keep that skills or should I call it levels because yeah it's up to you it might be a little confusing but if we look at our player fire then we have a fireball hadouken slow down time and a sword in the hand uh, which is we can't really do the sword in hand at the moment but um, well we can add skills to this for these ice ball and slow down time so every time you do it it slows down the time and then we get skills for it so it's really really good um, we could all just make them so when you press it it increases which the fireball and ice ball even do um, we could do a time for um, the slowdown time, but all I'm going to do is the amount of times you press it. So yeah, so you get fireball a thousand times, fireball and ice ball a thousand times, and it'll be difficult because the fireball you've got unlimited of, so you just press it e a thousand times, fair play. But then the ice ball you get limited ammo, so it's different. So in order to do the ice ball, what we're going to do is duplicate these twice, like so. So we're going to rename the first one to. Well, we're going to put a note first. Yeah, that would be a good idea. We'll rename it to Ice Ball Skills, and then we'll name it to Ice Ball Skill Level, and put another note. Slow down time, and we'll name this to Time Skills, and same again. So now we've basically got three variables for it. Simple, right? So what we're going to do is close this switch statement here, and then duplicate it. Okay, duplicate it first, then close it. I thought that was going to work. So there. So in here. Oh my god. Why won't it work properly? Duplicate. There we go. Now close it. So in here. Sorry about that. And um, we're going to copy our fireball skills, but ice ball skills. So this is for ice. We could note it out. That would be easier. Fireball. What else do we have? Not there. Ice ball and finally time. So now we can just like easily see which one's which. So we've got ice ball skills here, but every time we increase it, we need to change the state, the case statement to a, the, our level. So first, what we do is rename this to time, which I've just saw, and our ice ball skill level will be replaced by every one of these here. So the more you have, the more you have to replace. All you do is copy and replace. It's up to you. There. So we can only go up to level six at the moment if we fire a thousand ice balls which is possible um, what else do we have we have the time one to do now don't we so if we copy this here we'll just copy it and then paste it here we can go back up hide this and change the time one so time skills and change all these to time level so every time we slow down time it will increase that by one which it will take a very long time to do but it will make our game last longer we can eventually add achievements as well, that'd be cool. So we've got the M3, but we've got nothing to show it on screen, what we've got. So we can add it here. And what we're eventually going to do is make it into a window, which you can hide, which is much easier. Um, so we can duplicate these, click, click. And we'll call this Ice Ball. Might as well just Ice and Time. So these are that all on the th axis of x axis of 30 which we want but then we want it to be down more so 50 from 70 is thir 20 so this one should be 90 and this one should be 110 so that should move them down nicely spaced this one is the ice ball and uh, this is time uh, yeah so here we need our ice ball skill level and our time skill level. Now that works perfect. So if we were to go and play that now, we would see 
when it stops that, that they are all there evenly spaced. Perfect, we can see them all. Brilliant. However, um, none of these will increase except the fireball. And that's because um, the on the script the variable here that detects which one they do, or for the ice ball, doesn't increase anywhere. And the only place you can actually increase this is if you go to player fire and look in your E key where you fire. If play if weapon equals one, then it'll increase fireball skills. But if weapon equals two, it doesn't increase ice ball. So what we can do is if we just copy this line here. So paste that there, paste it here, like so, we can paste it, and now it will increase our ice ball skills. However, what about time? Well, time's a weird one to do, because this here only fires once. It will fire once, and that's it. However, this one here will keep increasing and increasing and increasing. So, the only way we can really get around that is if we copy this variable and paste it in again, so we've actually got something. So there, we pretty much just have to leave it like this for it to work. In fact, no, yeah, because it's under the E key, it won't. It'll just do it once. It'll be perfect. So we can just paste that in there. Sorry about that. Yeah. So if we were to in here write a print statement, print um, your fire is, and next to this we can paste our fireball skills is it that one yep so player stats dot fireball skills and then next to this we can put plus comma ice ball and then after this we can put um the same again but we can put our ice again and this is just gonna basically print out down below what we are currently on so we can see it increase plus comma time is player stats dot time skip time skills there we go and that's it so if we were to play that now hopefully we shouldn't have any errors with brackets or anything which we don't so we can have an error down player stats it's players stats players players and players, there we go. Try again. Does it work now? Yep. So we can play. And down below, hit it or print. We have zero zero zero. So if we just, sorry if this deafens you, just. As you can see. Yep, it increases. And if we go and collect, slow down time, that increases. So you can just glitch, which looks really weird. We might have to stop that. And the Hadouken, or Ice Ball as we call it, doesn't want to fire. But that's probably just a glitch. Yeah. So thanks for watching. I know it's a bit of a bad tutorial, but it needed to be done to increase it and make our game look better, kind of. But yeah, so next tutorial we'll be working on weather. Um, yeah, so see you next time.